hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome all my new subscribers thank you so much guys we did it 5,000 yay thank you so very much so today um, you saw my pick yesterday on Instagram <clears throat> that would be actually day behind because I'm shooting today you will see video kind of next day but anyway I told you about <clears throat> canvas that I work okay I'm losing my voice <clears throat> excuse me the canvas that is actually very beautiful very good symbols but it's really hard to work on and there is something funny about it and interesting and let's just start first from the funny kind of part um, and I'm gonna work on canvas for those who wanted to see which company that is it's wizardy and this is European company and here is the mermaid they kind of like a look like a stainless glass oh guys I'm so sorry my voice like half down all of a sudden <clears throat> I'm not sick or anything just a voice lost it <laughs> somewhere so anyway what I want to show you about this and I'm gonna zoom my camera as close as I can and we will see the symbols actually on this canvas because the symbols is different from what I have before lots of symbols in here it's just like totally different so first what okay let's get zoom first that would be good okay so the first symbol kind of look normal right but then look the next one it's a piglet head <laughs> it's a little piggy that is so cute then we have a heart and some like a regular then you have a like thumbs up I think it's a thumbs up um, then we have like a Wi-Fi signal it just so many different symbols that I kind of didn't see before so this one F star kind of different this one looked to me like a piece from an earning findings <laughs> uh, some kind of chain link uh, I don't know what this is uh, then we have a wine glass so get some wine ready we're gonna drill and make a party uh, then we have a flower clover leaf which is good for luck right then we have a moon and then this one looks like a maybe gas station or maybe like a gadget of the iPad or cell phone I have no idea what it is but it's something funny and then we have a car here this little like a the bug looking car I think it's hilarious actually then we have an arrow this one looks to me like a balloon okay here nothing special about this one then we have a cactus an umbrella and this one looks like a cherry um, uh, arrow turn okay drivers you know what it mean uh, M what is this like a eight maybe uh, stop sign or X whatever um, I'm not sure what this is it looks to me like a person upside down or I don't know but then we have here let me try to zoom this way maybe oops no since I go close the zoom is gone okay then let's see what else we have here um, the note for the music there's a note and then <clears throat> I don't know it looks like um I have no idea what kind of symbol is that actually uh, check mark all done some other funky um, this one looks like a leaf and then guys we have a number 69 which is very ridiculous that make me just laugh so if you don't know what 69 please don't ask there's gonna be 
no explanation for this one sign, okay? This is totally ridiculous, I think. Then we have some, uh, looks like Ukrainian F sign, some voice, uh, like a speaker, whatever it is in here, like a volume sign up there. Um, and house. Well, the rest of it is kind of funny, but that's just a cute one. When I saw the little uh, piglet, that was kind of, it was really cute and funny. I thought, okay, don't want to um, zoom too much. So I thought some symbols that are here are funny. And this diamond painting has 47 colors, which is huge. So I started to drill just a tiny bit. Well, this is supposed to be my little girl supposed to drill, but this is really hard for her. And as you can see, it's gonna be very, very pretty. The, the canvas itself is gorgeous. As you can see, the glue is so smooth. Symbols are nice and clear. Um, now, the glue on the end, I might have a, hold on, when I'm looking at now better, I'm not sure if I saw a few of the wrinkles up there actually, let me check. No, this one is not going to make any problem, very, very tiny one out here, you can see shining little wrinkle but it doesn't seem like it's a bubble under glue so that would be all right um now the glue it was so white pour over the canvas that this side is okay but like top at the bottom even this uh tape is kind of white it's still glue um not much of this side but in here it's sticking out over, it's still over. Lots of glue pour um, on the top of the diamond painting. So I start at a little bit corner in here. And as you can see, the drills, okay, let me just turn canvas that it's actually kind of comfortable to me, but it's gonna be upside down for you guys. And I'm gonna adjust a little bit here. So as you can see, it looks really pretty. The diamonds is really high quality, very sparkle, and sits really tight to each other. Uh, and if you see a little tiny gaps maybe in here, uh, that's why I'm gonna explain you why this canvas is so hard to work with. Uh, and yes, you can see in here it's 48 centimeters by 38 centimeters canvas. So I'm gonna show you first the beads quality is really, really good. I like their beads. Very shiny, same size, even cut, I think. Um, trying to look, looks like even cut the same. The only one bead I see in here that it has little like a corners attachment to it. That's why it didn't line up well in a row. That's the only one. We can toss that one in the garbage. Um, okay, so why this canvas so hard to work with guys? I'm gonna tell you why. And if you are a beginner, you might wanna, I don't know, uh, pick something that it easier for you to start your diamond painting hobby because if you will come across this um, diamond painting you will find it's a little bit hard for you uh, let's see how much we can bring close okay is this would be okay or maybe more let's let's just try and see okay so the glue on this canvas are so strong so when you put your diamond on the square and you kind of miss a little bit you cannot move and that's what i was talking about in one of my um 
diamond painting review tips tutorials in dreamers designs the dark canvas nice pour glue but it's really easy to work and move even like a whole row I can push and I can move all the beads to line up them tight or um, even up this one if you place in a canvas that's it you are done so this tool is I would say out of the question to work on this kind of canvas I try place one bead I try to place two or three beads and if you don't place three beads absolutely even it's really hard later to push them to the right squares and if you want to place uh, even like this this is the from dreamers designs tweezers and as you can see they are so tiny tiny right but if i would try to place the bead next to each other even the little tiny gap will not let you place drill very close because they already the squares looks like um just right fit for one bead so if you want to place next to it the tip of your tweezer will be on the way and the other bead would be a little bit off the level so in a checkerboard you can play in a checkerboard if you play in one by one but not multi bid pick as as much as you know i'm really good with my trip laser uh, by the way i'm trying here to do something with the dreamer design actually place glue so it's not ready yet but i put two of them on each side and i put um, fast supposed to be dry glue so I know i'm not gonna move right now but if i place with one like this and later i just switch and go to my trip laser so i have two on each side and that's really comfortable for me so what i want to say with with this even trip laser i cannot use in here because it will show me the wrong line if i don't put properly okay we'll be right back guys just a minute okay guys sorry about that i do run business from home so i had to answer the phone uh hopefully nobody will distract us right now uh so okay where we stop i'm gonna show you for example this canvas okay if i put my pen on the top of the bead let's pretend i didn't place this bead properly and i want to move to the other side okay in a different symbol um as you can see my pen literally is bending but the bead is stuck so hard that i cannot move okay my my pen is bending back and forth in here so let's see if we can pick with the tweezer to just to remove and i think we're gonna get some fight a little bit okay with the tweezer you can pick it up but it's not slideable okay as you can see it's coming out this way easy which is good i like to let's try the other one okay see because i guess i move a little bit this one we spent that it's coming out easier this one i can pick it up okay got it now okay so i would say these beads will drills i should say uh would not fall out of your canvas which is big plus because they do stick to this glue really really tight but you, you do have to be very precise to place them exactly on the spot like for example in here this corner my little girl started and now i see why she quit because it's really hard like the beads is not pushable to so, you know to kind of fix these gaps it just it's stick okay so i see myself doing all this canvas only with one pick and that's gonna be ideal for me or sometimes i could probably switch to my 
tweezer and place one by one but only in the checkerboard or if I would do a line like for example let's see another drill um, I can place if I go from up down to me I can place next bit to it no problem and you can see it stays nice and nice and clean but if I want to do bead this is really video just a uh, you know tips and very technical if I want to place bead next to this bead I don't know how much you see it you see that gap already created by the tweezer in normal different companies that wouldn't be I like problem because you would place and then you can't move unless you're not putting any pressure and then see it's already stuck and I can see gap in here I don't know can you see it let me change a little bit angle okay you see the gap in here already so you can't go next to each other but you do can use your tweezers from go like in a line to stack them to each other where tweezers doesn't touch other bead color otherwise I just don't like that and me being kind of advanced diamond driller I can see that this would be really really hard uh, canvas to work for a very beginners and you might will decide to quit square diamonds if you will come across um, this kind of canvas the glue is really really sticky so I would suggest not to give up but if you happen to be have canvas like this and try buy the other one that there's so many and not many companies do this kind of strong glue and you will see how easy they would be you know push each other with just the pen so this is a gorgeous gorgeous canvas i thank wizardy for that this is beautiful as you can see the symbols are perfect so visible the colors not uh, interfere with each other everything you can see clearly so it is going to be gorgeous diamond painting but for advanced diamond painters and only if you use uh, one pick if you care about gaps like like gaps in here is bothering me but you know um, my little girl did she's only 10 so uh, it's okay she still did a really good job so now I'm gonna drill some time by myself because I need to be very precise and pay kind of attention to it and then I will show you a little bit later how this gonna look like um, I'm just gonna go with this uh, with this symbol as a question mark and once again the drills for this canvases is really really sparkle this is beautiful uh, like a baby pink almost soft like a skin color uh, as you can see the sparkles is there the shape is there size is there the canvas is gorgeous uh, but really hard to work with the multi-tool because if you place um, not not straight you will see the a canvas so so yes guys this was a little tip for you uh, just for in case you come across in this kind of diamond painting and let's see so I will show you in my next video sometime when I drill a little bit to just to show you have all these colors together go because this is a first impression of VI um, I always say VIP it's a WIP work in progress uh, but this is the only color that I start work with it. so it could be uh, different with different colors so I don't know I will have to um, check more colors and drill maybe usually you know I would do like by the color through the whole canvas and with this canvas I will work probably like by squares maybe like six and six inch 
and see how this all the rest of the color will line up together but after all this is a gorgeous gorgeous canvas and I'm gonna show you one more time the picture of this beautiful mermaid as I love mystical creatures and she is gorgeous right she is gorgeous and I love the way they paint it as like a stainless glass design art I don't know who is the artist and I'm not sure if this is original or I, I don't know if this is a licensed artist or not with this diamond painting so guys thank you so much for staying with me I hope this little uh, you know tip review will help you in the future if you are very very beginner and I see you in my next video thank you